get all that filled in. We'll create the highlights. Now we'll create the shadow. Now we'll take some burnt sienna and we'll add some color. We'll just add some shadow and some highlights and some color and we'll just blend it in. Now we'll shadow around the rock. You want to shadow along your edges and then and that'll actually bring it out. You see? Just working on our undercoats. We've taken the burnt sienna and thinned it out and we're going to go over that white in the background and to warm it up. Add some highlights around it as we go. And we're using our number two brush. Yeah, add some highlights there. And there. These rocks are a little damp, so they have some reflection to them. And here we go. Now we're going to work on the snail's shell. It's basically like creating a, a seashell that you would find at the seashore. You would use your darkest color first, which is your burnt sienna. Well, actually your black is the darkest. But with your burnt sienna, put in your undercoat. Then you would add your white and use it as your highlights and look on your photo to where the lights are reflecting and all that information is right on your photograph. Now to create a wood grain, you'd add your black and you would do some outlining and you would go up and down. and shadow underneath. You have your light in the back of the snail. The light reflects where the fold is.
Just add some more shadows. This is so much fun. We'll add some more highlights. A little bit lighter there on the top. little edge along the, the front of the snail shell. There we go. Wow. Very nice. Now we'll get our hooker's green and we'll cover the entire body of the snail in hooker's green. There we go. The whole body is covered. This is all your undercoat. Use black underneath the shell.